going to be reacting to clips that made Sneeko famous. <laughs> what year was the U.S. founded? Why is this what just year? so loud? Yeah. Oh, you lost me with that one. 17 <laughs> why is this so loud? And why do you know that off the top of your head, you fucking nerd? 1776, right? <laughs> Around what year? You know this. She's she gonna say like 1938. <laughs> Around what year was founded? Say, say, say 1970s. Bro, I swear to God, she says in like the 1800s or 19. Bitch, what the fuck? Was it? Nigga, your parents was literally born before then. How was she so stupid? It was 94. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> he said it was not. So close. <laughs> nah, he's a Have troll. Have any of you ever experimented okay. with another woman? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Would you ever date a man who's experimented with another man? No. I've seen this double before. No. But, I don't know. I can't really... You can't really call it double standard. I mean, it is double standard, but you can't really care about it because it's like double standards work for men in a lot of ways, too. So I feel like just hating on that is kind of illogical. I think women are less inclined to support bisexual men as potential dating prospects. Yes. Would you have a problem sucking a dick after it's been inside another guy's? Yes. Yo, that's nasty. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to correct myself. I think one of my earliest 10 tape speeches was how God is not real. Explained how God's not real and don't believe in God and I'm an atheist. And Bro, I'm gonna say now too. I, I was an atheist, but God is necessary. God's a necessary thing to follow. And I've seen what happens to people when they become godless. And it's just basically just walking outside in LA or New York City and see like just walking around at Pride Month. They're like, oh yeah, we need a little bit of God. And God is a good thing to follow. But I've always naturally just been a person who just you know is known to do the right thing and to just. Oh, uh, I think. I feel like God might be real, but it's not the God that, that we've been taught. Cause it's like, there's no fucking way that there's just a big nigga in the sky who cares if you're, if you have premarital sex. You sitting here hanging on me cause I'm getting pussy nigga. Like, ain't that a little weird to you? When you could be in it world hunger, you gonna worry about me fucking a bitch. Like what? Uh, oh bitch, you a... Uh... Solid four and a half. Nah, fuck that. You a goddamn three. Because I dyed the half of my hair. There's always room for improvement. There's always room for improvement, but I'm a ten. This nigga camera is so crispy. Three times three. Twenty seven. Three. Nine times three is twenty seven, right? I'm getting mad. Thirty. You know this. If it said thirty. Stop. Stop. Yo, I just know she was eating hot Cheetos in the morning. Nah, cause that's supposed to be a trick. That's supposed to be a trick. What? It's not a trick question. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. But like, I gotta do it my head hard. Nine, nine times three. Okay, she got it. Thirty-six. This generation is doomed. If you were born 10 years ago, then how old would you be today? Oh my god! <laughs> I can just tell she's gonna say some stupid <laughs> shit. You can just tell she's gonna say some stupid like 14, shit. 12, oh! Single women dress sexy and wear makeup. Are they seeking attention? No. What are they doing? We just want to feel good for ourselves. Nah, I, f I feel like I feel like that's misogynistic to say, cause like just cause I put on a good fit or like cause I wanna not cause I wanna smell nice and dress nice, that don't necessarily mean that I'm looking for attention. I just wanna look good. It don't make sense for me to say that you're seeking attention if you wear makeup. I don't think that's a problem. I just put on makeup and all these lashes and everything just so that I can be by myself. When I'm alone in my apartment, I'm gonna go sit in my closet with my lashes and my makeup and my heels on and be freezing cold for me. So if the woman is the prize, what would that make the man? Ooh. A piece of sh worthless wallet. They don't care. Just give me your money. The wallet. Damn. And if you say I pre-record this, this just dropped. It dropped while I was streaming. How would you feel if a woman approached you? I would be feel great. Uh, would you be I would feel fucking great. No. No, hell no, hell no, bitch. Put your money up. Your life. I'm still gonna pay him, but you know it's a nice gesture. 
Just fuck that. <laughs> Bitch, you got it. <laughs> you got it. You want to pay? Go ahead. I love you. I'ma clap that shit, nigga. Why do so many women think that men would feel emasculated? Only person that makes me feel emasculated is okay. Aiden Ross. Shut your hillbilly ass up. Nonsense. Accepting their fucking delusion. You make absolutely no sense. You're not yeah. complicated. You act like a child. Who is better at self-improvement, men or women? Men, easy. Men, easy. Self-improvement, definitely women. Okay, rate yourself Hell on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. Let's see, like, it, they literally are about to be hypocrites in the first sense. Women are better at self-improvement, but I'm already uh, perfect. Uh, I know this because they all think the same thing. Listen. Tans across the board. Oh, period. Okay. And, and they don't even realize that I'm- Period, pool. Wake up! Come back to reality! Get off of TikTok! Get off of Instagram! You're so stupid! You are so stupid! Hey, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to y'all niggas.